Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to try using the EcoFlow Wave as my third AC. You know, we're in Texas, it's 100 plus, and I have two 13,500 BTU ACs. Alright, that's the other one right here. So these two guys, it's a struggle for them. So what we're going to do is just try to install this. I'm going to install it right here on my kitchen sink so it could just drain down into the sink and I'm going to use this window to exhaust the hot air and to pull the cool air in, cooling the uh, condenser. I've already cut everything I needed so this should fit in that window and I have my little barrier so I can separate the incoming air to the exhaust air well actually yeah this is incoming this is exhaust so this will sit right here so that hot air doesn't go back into the cold cold air so it doesn't make a circle of hot air all right so this window right here i'm gonna open it like this put the screen and i want to see if this will work so everything's cut to place we're just going to start installing so we're going to be running the wave 2 on battery this is my solar these are the vents I was talking about. So this is your intake and this is your exhaust. This is exhaust, this is intake, and that's your evaporator. That's where the cold air comes in, recycle, and this is where your cold air blows out. Just a quick overview of the Wave 2. So let's get this thing installed. I'm gonna be using solar as well. So let me show you my solar. I have this solar panel, it's a 300, 20 watt panel 36 volts and I'm gonna use this extension cord to go underneath the RV up into the window all right so just trying something out let's see if it works you know I don't have to do it in my rig but um, this is fun and I love doing projects so let's get this done first thing I'm gonna do is use this extension cord so I want to get my solar on this side just put this up right here Tuck the rest of this on the bottom. So back inside my solar input, I need a little hole right here. So I'll just cut me a little hole right here. That'll be for solar. We'll just make a little X. So I can just push it through. Okay, so now Let's see if this fits right here. So it's, it's going to fit real tight. It has to fit real tight. All right, this is real tight. Here. All right, this fits perfect. See from the top all around. Perfect. So it looks like this on the inside, but on the outside, this is what it looks like on the outside. So you can't really see my my stuff, all right? Because the window is blocking it. Now, remember that separator I told you about? I'm gonna put it right here. This is my vent separator. It also keeps the, the, the styrofoam tight so the glass kind of holds it. So we're gonna put more right there. And one side is cool, the other side will be hot. Another thing I'm gonna do is put some foil paper on my glass. I don't know how hot that air is, but I'm just gonna put some foil so it doesn't hit the glass with hot air. The seat sealed real good all the way around. All right, now let's get the wave two and put it right here. All right, guys, we got the wave. So the reason you put the vents is when this thing is in cool mode, it creates a lot of heat from the condenser. So you have to vent that hot air outside so it stays cool inside. 
We're going to put the first vent on the back. There you go. Snaps right on. I'm just going to pull this out. Pull this out. And I bend it right here. And it fits right in its hole. Okay. I made this uh, little stand to kind of help support the uh, the hose. So that's my little support right here. Now we need the exhaust. That's the exhaust hose. Alright guys, there you have it. All hooked up. Alright, so I got my intake hose, my exhaust hose, vented to the outside. There it is. So from the outside, remember I told you, you can't really see that this thing is there. So let's hook the solar up and turn it on okay so I got my solar connected and you can connect solar right here I can't remember the exact rating but it takes up to 400 watts the panel I have outside is 320 and it's well within the uh, voltage limits so you can use different solar panels if you want and I wanted something that would actually charge the battery and run the unit all right so let's get that first start Just push that power button set to 78 there you go another reason I like this thing is it's so quiet let's close this door you see right here so if I'm somewhere and it's really not that hot or I just want to use this instead of my main ACs because I can run this off solar so let's say I don't want to run my main AC I don't want to run the generator I could just put this right here I have sun and run it okay guys there you have it I have the solar connected you can see the solar connected we have 320 watts coming in this thing does accept up to 400 watts you can use any other panel you don't have to use the name brand panel as long as it's within specs you should be okay so I got my exhaust right here my intake right here that's for the condenser so the cool air is coming in here and it's blowing the hot air out. Let's look outside real quick. So this is what it looks like on the outside. You can't really see it. If you step back, you, won't, you can't really tell I have it hooked up from the outside because of this window right here. I'll tell you what, it's going to help. It's definitely going to help my 213.5 AC, having a third AC in those hot summer days working off solar I think it tells me I have right about four four point three hours I can run it off solar and once the Sun moves I'll just move my panel you know and keep it running if I do have to get an extended runtime I can hook up one of my Delta 2 uh, or my EcoFlow Pro you know one of those but I think off the add-on battery and the solar I should be fine once it gets a little low, I'll probably just turn it off and this just helps. All right guys, so there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel, it's free. I hope you enjoy videos like this. I just like sharing my little uh, projects with you and I hope you enjoy it. So there it is. This is gonna help out my 213.5 AC real good. You know, it's an extra 5,000 BTU blowing towards the front and it just really helps. Guys, thanks for watching my channel. Have a great day. Bye.